conversation. Turn. We'll head out to Point Loma Nazarene to find out what's developing inside the Sea Lions gym. Plus, Jim Brogan stops by. If you think about Point Loma Nazarene, it's easy to label the university as the small school with an ocean view. But you may consider taking a closer look. Basketball is flourishing, and so are the student athletes in more ways than one. Jenny Kavnar has more. But just get out of this thing and let's get out of this mode. We just found out that we moved up 12 spots to being ranked number 10 in the nation. Put it in, Nick. Good fall. Point Loma plays in the NAIA Division of College Athletics, and even though they are nationally ranked... Good. Now get there to the hand. Good. The shadows of local Division I universities in town make it tough to see the Sea Lions' unique approach to the game of basketball and life. There's four coaches that are out here and four coaches that care not just about the skill level of the development of the kid, but where they are spiritually, where they are academically. The team practices and plays in a high school sized gym and has creative ways to make the budget work. The men's and the women's team uh, in our league travel together when we're on the road, see each other play at home, so there's been a great close connection in our program. So close that Love and Basketball found its match when senior point guards Josh Sanderson and Katie Hilbelink sparked a connection that recently took on engagement. Well, I'd always seen her through basketball, but never really talked. I guess we were both kind of shy that way. And then second semester, our freshman year, we had a class together. We carpool for the bus rides, so that's the first kind of time I saw him, but he was actually with somebody else at the time, and we ended up having a class together because he's kind of shy, so that's kind of when we started talking, and that's kind of how it happened. And the rest was history, adding a first for a teammate. Yeah, I've been on a bus with people going out with each other, but not when, you know, they just got engaged and they, all the girls were freaking out. Oh, let me see the ring, let me see the ring, you know, so. You know, it's different, so, but it's fun. Josh is, uh, is just one of the favorites that we have here in the student body because he's so humble, he's so quiet. Sometimes we have to kind of speak some sign language to him to make sure he understands or communicates back to us. But uh, he's improved a lot. He's increased his range to three points uh, and shoots over 50% now from the three-point line. He's great in assists, about two and a half to one ratio, averaging about 15 a game for us and a complete player. When you're out there on the court and things are going bad, you know, he's one of those players where you can look at him and, you know, like, okay, you know, he believes that we're still going to win, so, you know, we must have still have a chance to win. And this team has a chance to win a game that hasn't been won since 1956. In the national tournament, you guys haven't won a game at Point Loma since the 50s. Is that a big goal, something to shoot for this year? Uh, yeah, it definitely is. You know, every team wants to go to, you know, postseason and have the chance to play for uh, a championship. I think in the past, the first time that I was here that we took a team back, uh, we just needed a little bit more depth, a little bit more size, a little bit more maturity. And this year, you know, we have all of those ingredients along with athleticism and an equal scoring balance of inside and outside. So we would look very much forward to being able to represent the GSAC back there. No question. I think we would do, do it very well. And the stage for these college athletes to perform in front of San Diego fans is a growth in progress. We competed with San Diego State and University of San Diego this year. Um, it's still a really good level of basketball. It's a great fit for the, for the city to be able to see an NAI school compete. And, uh, and we played them pretty well. We played them very well. So I, I think that's given us at least some looks of people saying, well, you played San Diego State to a 10-point game or you played you know, USD to a 14-point game. And those are kind of moral victories. But you know, it's good to be able to play well against those two teams because those two teams are very well coached. It's definitely not like you know, a powder puff score or whatever. And so you know, we can play a little bit. You'll just have to check out the school by the water to see for yourself. You may even spot Larry Bird, assistant coach Larry Bird. I'm Jenny Kavnart reporting for Postgate. All right, thank you.